working on our spring. Hey guys welcome back to our channel today we're out here on our property working on our spring we believe that it comes out of the ground right here by Ryan you guys remember Ryan from the uh, fishing video when we showed him the honey hole I think we titled that I remember my first fish and we're gonna start clearing some of these rocks and everything out of the way here and try to get this water flowing. Our end goal once we have everything removed we want to dig this out a little bit put a pipe in so that we have some fresh nice cold mountain spring water. And it goes quite a ways down there. So. I also want the flow of water to attract animals and yeah, you know, this is our hunting area up here, so anything we can do to bring more wildlife into the area would be great. We're going to do this by hand so we don't mess up the ecosystem, because I know there's lots of creatures through here, and maybe you guys can help us identify them. Yes, we have found a bunch of stuff. We're not exactly sure what they are. So drop a comment below whenever you see our creepy crawlies that we find. Let us know what you think they are. So we're at the very top of the spring here. I've uncovered water. We also found two cute little salamanders here. And there's a cold breeze coming. Yeah, down. this ground is very cold. It's warm. That's why we're, we're doing this by hand. We don't want to hurt any of these little creatures that we know we're going to find. Mm -hmm. Does anyone know what kind of this is here? I can get a good look at it. There's a bumblebee. Come here, sweetie. I know you're scared. It's a hornet. Look at him. I would, but I have no view of him. Oh. On the camera. Look at him. He's such I a cutie. He likes me. Look at him. Hi. Focus sucks. 
Let me get your friend. We're going to set you guys out of our path of work. And we're not digging the whole thing out either. We're just coming down the middle so that things like this still have their habitat. Woo! <laughs> guys this is where we're at now this was the start of it we have two sections opened up now it's another one of those cool looking crayfish crawfish this is where we're gonna end up piping it at you can see our progress so far We're gently moving the moss rocks out of the way to keep them at the sides. Just giving us a nice stream down the center here, letting it go its natural flow. It's going to be fresh water for us, for our families, for the wildlife. Alright, we're going to get back to work. You know our progress here in a little bit. Alright, here's another bigger crayfish. The last one we found was just itty bitty. Look at that one. It's huge. Pretty cool the stuff we're finding in this old spring. Yeah. Nice. Remember, guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, leave a comment, like our video. And we're getting some opening up here. We got some water flowing. We got about probably a six foot section here opened up at the source. And we're just going to keep moving on down. So we just came across this guy. Does anyone know what he is? He's huge. Let's have Kelly pick him up there and uh, we'll see if we can get a better view of him. Come here, buddy. I know you're scared. I'm here. He's a slippery little guy. He's huge though. Crawl up there. Here, you need some help? You need some help getting up there, buddy? Moved a rock out of the way and there he was. Comment down below if you know what that is. I don't know how well you guys can see this on the camera, but it looks like we found a little clutch of eggs. Under this little rock here. Salamander eggs. You guys have any idea what those eggs could be? Martin thinks they're salamander eggs. Drop a 
comment below if you have any ideas. We're at the source of the spring here. We found this big guy right there. He doesn't want to leave his home. We're not going to move him very far away from his home. Oh, yeah. He's a big. Yes, he is. That's why we're doing this by hand, guys, so we can keep oh, these creatures alive. Line. And we're just going to gently move him out of the way so we can continue working. Let's see if he wants to play water sports like the other ones. Are. You want to play some water sports, buddy? They usually like to. Uh, so there he goes. He wants to go backwards down the water. They seem to love it. How it seems like he's drowning. No, he's getting some fresh water. He's a fighter. He fights a very good. All right, so started at the top at the source. You know, instead of all the water just seeping wherever it wants to go, we have it all connected and flowing together all the way down here to the bottom. Look at that. When we started this project, there was no water flowing. Everything was just seeping under rocks. And all we had to do was just move some stuff out of the way. this alone for a little bit. We're going to let the water carve itself out here. Hopefully we get some rain. We can get some flow through here and wash out some of these little rocks. Here's where the boys are playing and making dams. And Now this area right here, last summer when we started this project, we had this all dug out. And it was probably six or eight inches deep. And I had a nice little pool of water there. And it's going to be our animal watering hole. But it seems that it is filled up with silt. So now that we have everything cleared away, we can start getting ready to concentrate on that again. Either way, there's enough water here for animals to drink. We see a lot of trail and sign right up to this. I've been on this property my entire life. I've never seen water flow like this. So, you did a pretty good job. It'll be fun whenever we get the piping put in and make this into a functional spring. Hope you guys enjoyed our video. Don't forget to like and share. Most importantly, subscribe. I want to thank everybody who has been following us along this journey. We're almost at 300 subscribers, so again, make sure you hit that subscribe button and get us up to 500. Martin, do you have something you want to say? Smash that like and subscribe button, or you won't get it. So on our way out playing in the creek came across this pile of scat. I have my ideas of what I think it is, but I want to hear what you guys' thoughts are. So, drop a comment and let us know what you think. Size comparison there. Big as the palm of my hand. Another little pile right here. So give us a like, subscribe, let us know what you think that is.